Remember this number, 40. That's the percentage of pre-med students that apply and are ultimately accepted into medical school. Many times a day and on this channel, I get asked the same questions again and again of how I became a doctor, how I overcame the odds, growing up in the Edenwall projects to become an anesthesiologist. The most cliche thing to say would be that it was all hard work, few hours of sleep, and studying in undergraduate and medical school. While this is true for most medical students, that's not telling the full story. If you're someone who believes that luck is a matter of truly random chance and has nothing to do with your own will and choice, well, it's time to change your mind. A few caveats should be taken into consideration first before we define what luck is. As stated in the beginning of this video, where you're born and to whom you're born has a lot to do with circumstances that are obviously out of your control. So being born into the right family in the right free country at the right time on this planet is a situation that most of us Americans shouldn't take for granted and is key to our success. Obvious other factors such as gender and race are double-edged swords that can't be definitively positively defined as lucky. Many of you watch for the advice and life story and more of you still watch hoping to get some hidden advice and tips on how to pass that test or ace that interview, all of which I'm happy to try to do, yet still I would feel remiss and bad if I didn't tell you one crucial factor that is often overlooked by eager pre-meds or second careers and a factor that has played a crucial role in my success as well as every other doctor, lawyer, engineer, and CEO out there. And again, that is luck. I recently read an article, the link is below, and it was entitled, The Role of Luck in Life Success is Far Greater Than We Realize. And a video I was watching from the channel Veritasium that really put my medical and pre-med career into perspective. Describing the role opportunity plays in a talented and knowledgeable person's rise up the ladder. I just want to take a few seconds and explain to you the simulations and experiments done that sort of prove the existence of luck as a factor and to quantify the role of luck and, and talent in successful careers. First, we all have to understand that success in medicine or any academic career isn't strictly all about merit. With that in mind, Researchers simulated that evolution of careers of a collective population over a work life of 40 years from age 20 to 60. The researchers stuck a large number of hypothetical individuals called agents with different degrees of talent into a square world and let their lives unfold over the course of their entire work life. They define talent as whatever set of personal characteristics allow a person to exploit lucky opportunities. I've argued elsewhere that this is a reasonable definition of talent. Talent can include traits such as intelligence, skill, motivation, determination, creative thinking, emotional intelligence, etc. The key is that more talented people are more likely to get the most out of a given opportunity. All agents began the simulation with the same level of success, 10 units, and talent as indicated by the power bar underneath the characters in my simulation. Every six months, individuals were exposed to a certain number of lucky events in green, i.e. good weather, favorable chance encounters, bonuses, you know, those kind of things and a certain amount of unlucky events in red, like the randomness of your husband and babysitter getting food poisoning and being unable to watch your child, thus keeping you out of a Harvard interview and possible residency. <laughs> yeah, that actually happened to me. And in one of these videos, I'll tell you guys all about it. Whenever a person encountered an unlucky event, their success was reduced in half. And whenever a person encountered a lucky event, their success doubled proportional to their talent, to reflect the real world interaction between talent and opportunity. In the final outcome of the 40 year simulation, while talent was equally distributed, ultimate success was not. The 20 most successful individuals held 44% of the total amount of success, 
while almost half of the population remained under 10 units of success, which was the initial starting condition. If we're to take this as a reflection on your ventures into medicine, as you can see, your chances of being successful have a lot to do with unlucky and lucky events as it does your talent. I read your comments frequently and I think about the blessings I have had in my life. A great mother, even though we didn't have the most, a great husband, good kids, all while being able to do a job that I really love. The role luck played is not readily apparent and the research shows correlations to things that can only be best explained by what we can describe as luck. For example, according to the article, the chance of becoming a CEO is influenced by your name or month of birth. The number of CEOs born in June and July is much smaller than the number of CEOs born in other months. Those with last names earlier in the alphabet are more likely to receive tenure at top departments, and the display of middle initials increases positive evaluations of people's intellectual capacities and achievements. These are just a few correlations in life that I myself didn't even know existed, but evidently play an unseen and important role in success. These are all seemingly innocuous, but ultimately surprising facts. I say this to say that in life, there are certain things that you cannot factor into a regimen of study, practice, rigor, and diligence on your road into medicine. Consequently, luck, or what is perceived to be luck, will fill that void and there is nothing to be ashamed of when this does happen. Just because there is luck in the world, that doesn't mean that proper placement and timing can't influence where the cards fall. So back to that magic number 40 and what the startling percentage represents in greater context of your journey into medicine. As stated before, this level of acceptance is as eye-opening as it is hopeful. Keep in mind the caveat that pre-meds are generally the best and brightest of those seeking careers in medicine. It is nonetheless encouraging. 40%. I know others may not see this as the best odds, but remember, there are limited spots in medical and subsequent residency programs. 4 in 10 are not bad odds and still allow for the most hungry of us a chance. The article went on to describe the mechanics of luck and the opportunity that it brings being symbiotic to success, even with average talent and skill. In other words, success is extremely dependent on opportunity knocking and your skills that are needed to answer. The great takeaway of this video is not to give up and never underestimate the role that luck and proper positioning can put you in.